later and later into the series could be everything for both these lineups. I want to see if T1 could do what they did to EDG in that first game. Split the map up, never let them group, never let them team fight. But honestly, RNG feel like they have the tools to fight back. This is going to be an explosive game one. Yeah, I'm very much looking down to see how can Wei try and interact with this bot side? Like, can you try and help out Ming? Because you do have the Nautilus there. I mean, great engage coming through. If you can close the gap, if you can set it up, but also very squishy on the opposite side. Here we go then. Game one of the world's quarterfinals. T1 up against RNG. Looks like right on Diego and Solo. You hold that thought though. 3v3. Objective being contested, Big starting fight. with the Fury. Renekton already ready to go in. They're going to try to first down one target. Oh, oh. Up. Brian, the reset has money in the bank, baby, because Wei is taking Zeus' body. on the map state, we're still going to be looking, oh my god, a T1. Breathe, trying to clear as much of the waves as he can. Holding on to oh. this time down, the ultimate ride to reset the tower angle. T1, it's a clean dive, they've got the Herald and they are firing back, they will not. Zeus has outranked everyone, we need to see if he can try and carry forward here again. Baker has a mid lane, Baker stepping forward, staying into the creep wave, trying to avoid the stun, trying to get the two man, but again, the burst is too much for him to survive. Way is such a huge drop. Stun over the wall, looking for the follow of Zeus, hook shot wall dive out to safety. Not really a play here, Way on the top of getting pulled back, that is too far, he will get taken down, big shutdown, and now Breathe is next on the chopping block, but he will slice his way out to safety, no dice for the follow, he has to turn, and they cut him down! Stuck in this corridor, don't want to go too deep because the turrets are there, we'll see if they go for the contest, Ming has no flash though, he can't really go in, they'll just turn straight onto him and he'll fall, I think RNG are going to push mid and try to move to G, should be able to just outnumber T1, but you have to be so careful about where they're going to put that rift tower, they could immediately put it down in the mid lane. It also goes to that top tier too. Pings coming down here from owner. They know they just committed five members towards that bot side. This would be a massive injection of gold into the T1 top. It'd be everything. Chahu now kicking things off. Baker trying to delete the way. He thinks the tower is going to keep him safe. He's buying time with the stopwatch. Yeah. The ult is taking the arrow. Will not connect. RNG will walk away empty handed, but T1 will not. Tower on the top side already down. Another charge now coming in. Megan breathe. Doing what they can to respond. Sidestep comes out, but the tower already down. T1 immediately walking away. They got what they came for. Set up Ash Arrow and look for the pick. Ash Arrow heading onto the Nautilus. Where's the fall gonna go? Shahu looking for an angle onto Seus. The whole team being split now. Hookshot wall dive forward. Unstoppable happening. He brought Seus back in the team. That's gonna be big. The all now coming in. Gala on the backside has to do everything, but it just will not be one of Gala! The shutdown, maybe it will! Can they turn it here? No, T1 holding strong. Both sides trading blow for way. RNG came back in game one, was a steal. It was on Viego, it was Way who leapt into the pit, who took it away from T1. And a flip it, they don't want to risk the 50 50. So that was a very interesting call because it was just a 5v5 Baron start. I think what T1 did there was they started Baron, made RNG come into their top side jungle, place their pinks down, and they hesitated a bit in deciding whether T1 are actually going to do this. And when RNG respond, they pull off a go towards Dragon. So now RNG have invested their wards this top side and they can't get into the bottom side of the map. It's such a good call from T1 because, as we said, like this is where T1 want to know exactly where RNG is. A, a TP out of breathe here, I think. We'll see if they finish it because Zeus can turn onto Way and ult him. Way. Go unstoppable, can go over the wall, arrow coming in, they're gonna try to lock him down immediately, but Camille says not getting into the pit now, that's the Baron for T1, they want to keep things going, but Gala, so incredibly strong, Gale forcing forward, wants to finish off Zeus, one kill, then now the reset coming out, way, all the strength, all the itemization of Zeus for now. They have full map control, their tier 1 mid is still up, so the amount of control they'll have is incredible. Trying to kick the fight off, they caught Goma, there could be everything, he goes golden, but it won't stop the rest of the team, immediately breathe is under the backside, T1 are now pulling back, Baker doing so much damage to Xiao Hu, but Xiao Hu turns his attention to the squishy Heimer, but the death ball of T1 retreats and Breathe will not find another kill, and it's Zeus on the side, it was Zeus in the early game, owner coming to back him up, and how could you have it in the other way, jungle and top of T1 again, finding the fight and making it work. It was slow until it exploded for T1, I'm realistically desperation engaged from RNG that now gives T1 game one. 15 seconds on Ming, breathe in Xiao, who's still 40 seconds away. It's Gala and Wei versus T1, four versus two to hold on. I don't think they have enough. Gala doesn't have the ult. Stepping in, smoke screen clutch. Gala has no way to follow up. Trying to clear the waves as quickly as they can. RNG holding on T1's fastest game before this, or slowest game before this, 29 minutes. RNG holding on for five more minutes than anyone else, but they're not just happy with that. They want to look for more. T1 for now, breaking one, breaking two. 
Backing away on the third inhibitor, but want to kick fights off again. Gallo locked up. He has the cleanse finally, just in time. Way. There's no one for him to reset off. A of. big leaping in, but he will walk away. And for his Baron in another minute. And how the hell do you even try and peek outside your base here as RNG when you've got everything pushing in towards him? It's so hard. And I feel for. for for breath and we, uh, wow, that was a hard one. <laughs> breathe and You've got breathe and I believe breath and nice. No, we're not going to go with that one. That was just an absolute brain moment. But it's hard because at this point, if you dive in, your back line dies. If you stay back, their back line kills your front line. There's not really a lot of good options. Execution has to be flawless here. They don't have flashes on those solo lanes RNG, so it's really hard to get onto T1's backline with four range champs. Zeus wins out against both solo lanes, so they're looking to make a pick onto him. He'll dash away and join his team. RNG will lose this inhibitor. And T1 will keep up the pressure. Three minutes on their soul, 40 seconds on Baron. T1 could just turn towards the Baron as the inhib waves come in and then have buffed up super creeps on all three lanes. That ward will be swept out. T1 looking for an engage and they'll pick there. Ming has no flash and they have an arrow. I think that could be an easy target. I think they're just waiting for these super creeps to hit the base so they can try and fall back. Make sure there's pressure on towards the Nexus turrets as they start to go away, but maybe not. I mean, top wave needs to try and crash at the same time here. Here we go. Blank. This is it, the last desperate attempt, but they catch Owner. They need the reset so desperately. Waiting on the ultimate from the Ophelios, waiting for them to group up. Gala knows that this is the one that could decide the game. Breathe on the backside, now trying to lock him down. Faker burning, Faker ticking. Can they get the reset for the Viego? Yes, one more hit. They will find it. But still, T1 with the advantage in the fight. Gala oh. on the backside, immediately the stun now coming up. Gala, desperate to survive. He's getting ticked away, he's getting knocked down. The ulti will not be enough. Way trying to have his hero moment, but T1 say not today. Striking first and the best of five as they knock down RNG. RNG were trying their best to hold.